Welcome to Greg's Channel 1. I am Greg, and this is Channel 1. Now, welcome back to the Disney series. Now, this Disney playlist is where I review the Disney films, the classic animated versions, up from number 1 to number 55. Now, this takes me from... If you've been paying, if you've been watching these in sequence, then you know that this is number six. And if you're also looking at the title, it says film number six, Saludos Amigos, which is this film. Now, let's get a, the basic info straight out of the way, and then I'll go into my review and I'll let you know how I feel about this film. So IMDb scored it a 6.2 out of 10. That's alright. Could have been better. Not too bad. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes scored it an 80%. And it was released in 1942. The same year as Bambi. Now I'm going to quickly go into this film. Because this film is going to be an interesting film. Uh, Charles Walcott, Ed Plum and Paul Smith are back in this one. For the music. There's a lot of narration. The, the narration is all over the film. It's uh, pretty much some guy telling us everything he can. Uh, it comes across a little bit like a documentary style film. But also goes into the cartoony stuff. And um, not it, it, it kind of didn't seem to know what it was doing. And kind of kept jumping around. Um, Donald is brilliant. They use Donald in this um, and use him as an iron butt monkey. So he gets beaten up a lot. Bad things happen to Donald because he's basically a tourist that uh, seems to just have a bad time in South America. Um, that's kind of his whole point of the story. But then again, there's not really a story. Um, it's kind of mini short stories. And the comedy that they use, mainly involving Goofy and Donald, is alright. Um, Pedro is kind of a more serious uh, short story. And then the best bit happens in Brazilian Watercolour, which was fantastic. It was great fun. It was you know, It was a fun segment that actually kept me interested the entire way through. Uh, the rest of it, I kind of, I found it hard to keep focused on the film. And if I wasn't reviewing it, I don't know whether I would uh, have chosen to continue watching it, in all honesty. Um, I did like some of the documentary style bits where they, they were talking about um, the experience of these writers and artists that had gone to South America and, you know, seen their artwork and all that kind of stuff. That was cool. But it just felt like they felt like they weren't sure what they were doing, and they weren't sure what they wanted the audience to see. There's not too much about the film because it becomes it's okay. Uh, there's not too much I can really say about it because it's. Uh... It's three short. There, it's four short stories. Donald being uh, being kind of funny, Pedro being kind of serious, Goofy being funny again, and then a little bit of funniness in Brazil in watercolor, which just looks gorgeous. Um, I've rated. Th uh, uh, that's just my opinion. This is actually quite a short. Uh, video. This, well, this is going to be one of my shorter videos purely because the, one, the film is only forty minutes long. It's uh, there's not too much I can really say about it because it isn't great. Uh, so my scoring, as you know, goes from one to five. I'm giving it a two point eight. It's something you should watch maybe once, just so you, just so you can understand where I'm coming from. Um. But if if you, if you like Salute or something, you got, you know, I want to hear why. I want I want you to put in the comments below, you know, oh, Greg, you know, 
but this bit is brilliant. This, this fun, this is quite fun, etc. You know, I, I want to hear your opinions. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed my review. Give me a thumbs up. You click subscribe, click the notification bell, comment section below, leave your thoughts and opinions. Oh, that's the end of number six in the Disney series. Number seven is the, is the Three Caballeros. So hopefully you'll keep in you'll keep watching for that. Have a great day guys and see you soon.